Now we'll be seeing page replacement strategies in Python. The first strategy is FIFO and we've been given a page string. The page string is a sequence of numbers. Okay. Uh, the numbers will be from 0 to 9 and they indicate the number the page number you've been given that you have to fit inside your memory now the memory size you have to take it as an input from the user now assuming that my memory size is minus 1 over here we'll try inserting these pages into the memory so the first page is inserted at location first location of the memory then comes in 2 then comes in 3 then comes in 1 but 1 we'll check we'll scan the entire memory and we see that 1 is already in, present in the memory that is called as a page hit it is already present and it need not be added to some other location in the memory then comes in 0 then comes in 2 again a page hit then comes in 4 that's a page miss now in case of FIFO what do we do the last inserted page sorry the first inserted page in our history was 1 so we'll replace it with 4 that is called as FIFO means we clear the queue uh, as in when we require when we get a page miss then we have 5 then we clear 2's place and assign it to 5 then we have 6 so at 3 location 6 will be assigned that is the FIFO strategy first in first out now we'll be discussing the LRU that is least recently used strategy in this again till we get a page miss we have to keep assigning pages to the memory blocks we encounter and yeah we get a page miss for 4 now in case of LRU what we do in the page string we scan the string on the left Okay, we scan the string on the left and find out the page which has the maximum distance from our current page 4 and it is also present in the memory and we are talking this uh, about this in the string okay the distance is in the string I mean that the distance between 2 and 4 in the string is 1 because they are adjacent distance between 0 and 4 is 2 distance between 1 4 is 3 distance between 3 and 4 is 4 so the least recently used in this case is 3 okay which has the maximum distance from that page in the string and is present in the memory currently so that's why we did this then for 5 it is 1 obviously and for 6 as you can see in the string it is 0 so yeah that is LRU now in case of optimal the way we did in LRU we scanned the string on the left in optimal we scan the string on the right okay which uh, which page will not be used for maximum amount of time that is known as optimal so again same thing we insert pages till we get a miss we get a miss for 4 and we scan the string on the right now uh, let me add one or two numbers more we scan the string on the right and the least recently used page meaning which has the maximum distance from 4 in this case 2 which is also present in the memory currently that is what we'll replace for 5 again 2 is not present in the memory 1 is present and has the maximum distance so for 5 we replace 1 for 6 oh there is no page for 6 so it is a permanent miss so we cannot do anything for it right now so that is the optimal strategy now we have to implement it in our code using python so we will have Okay, we'll create three functions for FIFO, uh, LRU, and Optimal. So for FIFO, what we'll pass it, we have to take uh, user input, that is our string, so that is page string, we'll call it PS, let it be. Then our memory size, so 
let's just pass it our memory we'll have a memory and it will return something for now let's return zero and let's define our main function as well in the main section what we'll do we'll take the input from user so we'll uh, take the input from user as ah we'll take it as a string so enter the page string and then yeah that will be stored in a string then we have to take uh, <clears throat> the size of our memory from the user in the in my example i was showing that <laughs> my memory is four pages long but we can it can be anything so let's take the input from the user enter the size of memory and yeah we'll call fifo and we'll pass page string that is x and memory size in it and yeah so we'll keep it as m size for our convenience that this is the size that we're talking about do we need to return anything no we can just print the output out that that will be enough and similarly we will implement three more functions for lru least recently used and optimal similarly i'll also have three definitions for that lru and optimal and that will be our user input output now we have to focus on the output now input is done so for fifo we need to create a, a memory okay we need to create a memory array so let it be memory is equal to we can we can run a loop minus one for i in range size let's maybe comment these things out for time being and try running this is our memory getting printed I want to see it Oh yeah, we need to call the main function as well. We did not call it. Page string, let's give a random string. And yeah, our memory is being created. And initially I've initialized all memory blocks to minus one. Meaning that <clears throat> there's nothing present in the memory. Then we'll have a pointer, okay and we'll initialize it to zero currently see initially till uh, we have space in our memory we can go on linearly allocating memory so we'll have a pointer to zero the zeroth location we assign pages then we assign to one two three then when our memory is full then we start scanning for hits and misses till then it's not required So let's start. So our memory pointer will initially be zero. Then we'll uh, yeah. Then we have to take the user input. So. Yeah, we've taken the user input. I'm sorry. We'll scan our this page string. So for 
i in page string what do you have to do we'll see whether it is present in our memory or not so let's scan our memory for j in memory if j is equal to is equal to i okay in this case integer of i because uh, j is a uh, memory is an integer array then we say it's a hit so we'll increment hit we'll also have another uh, variable named hit for that matter and a miss so yeah we have a hit and then we could just break out okay once it is a hit we need not do anything and we'll also keep a flag variable for our convenience if it's a hit then we'll just increment the flag okay i uh, what i could do is i'll i'll have a flag over here so by default it will for each and everything it will begin with zero so once my memory has been scanned i'll check if my flag is still one okay if it is still zero sorry if it is still zero meaning it is a miss so we'll increment the miss and we'll begin assigning okay we'll begin assigning memory of mem pointer as uh, what do we have to assign i right integer of i we'll be assigning and then we'll increment the memory pointer because initially we'll we are linearly putting values at 0 1 2 3 then when it goes beyond the size of the memory we'll reinitialize it to 0 because it is working like a queue you have to bring the pointer back to the start so what i'll do is if after this step if my mem pointer is equal to is equal to the size okay the m size what i'll do i'll initialize mem pointer as 0 and after each and every step i'll just print my memory to see whether it is working correctly let's see what output it provides us so yeah plus plus the short hand operators in this case let's see it's string uh, there are a couple of errors i'll remove them all and show it to you guys so <laughs> i've given the name as something else let's see how it works okay so initially 1 2 3 4 i filled 1 and 1 2 3 is a page hit and yeah zero is replaced let's try using this r it string the way we had discussed let's uh, four yeah 1 2 3 1 2 3 0 then 2 4 4 replaces 1 5 replaces 2 6 replaces 3 and 1 and 2 are page hit Yes. Wait. Two replaces four. Uh -huh. Up till here it is correct. Till 
4 replaces wait 1 2 3 0 then 2 is a hit 1 replaces 1 is replaced by 4 2 is replaced by 5 yeah, 2 should be replaced by 5 and it is replaced. Yeah, it is correct. Then 3 is replaced by 6. Till here it is correct. Then 1 in... Okay, 0 is replaced by 1. Yeah, it is correct. So our FIFO strategy is working well and fine. And now... Yeah, see, I'll stop the video over here. In the next video, we'll be implementing LRU and Optimal together. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.